I'm going to help you to make one of your games. That we, uh, Zintle is going to make a game that teaches coding in a, in a website. So you're going to be the cleverest grade one. So let's go to this one. Go to tools. And you can see it says Zintle over there. She's amazing. Now Zintle, to, to learn coding. Now you, if you learn coding, you can become very clever. You go over here. We're going to go to this one over there. The, that one over there. Brilliant. Now if you look at, at the coding, we'll go to the easy one. This one says fun with fish. Let's choose that one. Okay. Now it says here, move the tuna right, move the move the crab left, and this one. Let's do the first one. So click on this one. All right. Now we could watch this video because if you if you're at home and you got your computer, you must just click on there and watch the video. But if you see, I'm going to read it to you. It says, make the tuna fish move right. So watch carefully. You're going to drag and you're going to take this and you're going to put it in there. So watch carefully. You're going to move that. And put it in there. Good. That, that's good. And it says you must make, move it in right. So which one's right direction? You think which one's your right arm? The tuna. Leave it there. Don't move it, my girl. Click on here. And look, there's right. So click on that one. That, that, that's the way of right. Now, to see if you got it right, you're going to click on this button over there. Okay. So click on that button there. Now watch. <coughs> it's moving right. Now the next challenge says that you got everything right. You're so good. Then it says... Click on that shell on this arrow over here. Click on the arrow. Marvelous. Now we could watch this video if you got sound at home. We could hear the video. We won't do that now. I'll read it to you. It's make the crab move left. So look the tuna. This pick to this one over here is moving right. Now we're going to make the crab move left. Learning. So, all right. Now Zinkli, I want you to bring the crab one underneath so it must be there. Do that, do that. So you're gonna drag the crab one. Excellent girl. Now play your code. Let's see what happens. Bagati. So they're moving in different directions. So play your code. You want to see if it's correct. So you're gonna go on this button over there. You're gonna press that button to see whether the code works. So look at that. The tune is moving right, the crab's moving left, and it says next challenge. Well done, Zintle. You're so good. Yeah, now you got the monkey. We go, go. We're gonna just press this button over there because we're not gonna watch this. Good girl. Now look, it says fish. Fix the program so the fish move left and right. So the program, the fish mustn't move down. Look, this fish over here is moving down. It mustn't move that way. It must move left and right. So we can move left and right. Excellent. And that one mustn't move down. The next one must go. This one you must also change that one to move in the either right or left. Excellent. And then the clownfish also. And now let's play the code. We see it's going first line, second line, third line. Well done. Now that's excellent what you've done there. Right, let's go to the next one. Yeah, go yes, like this one. Excellent. Saying well done. You got four stars, five stars, and congratulations. You've got everything right. So let's press on the OK button. And now they're going to ask us to make our own because they want to see how clever Zinkle is. They're going to ask us to make our own. So we can watch the video. We can just close this. So close there. Good. Now we bring in the when click event. So drag this one in there. Good. That's it. Look what Zinkle is doing. When clicking on, you can choose which one you want to click on, Zinkle. That's it. And then go which when drag. What's going to happen when you click on the clownfish? Then the clownfish must do something. Marvelous. You make it do something. It's moving left. And now bring in the next one. So when we click on the clownfish, stop my girl. Just wait. Watch this. Play your code. Let's uh, see the code. Marvelous. How clever are you? Click on there. Now the clownfish. Click, click on the clownfish. Brilliant. You know which one's the clownfish. And it's moving left. Good work. So now press the stop button, which is this. We're not going to play the code. We're going to just stop that. Now you're going to do something with the tuna and the trout. So make sure you do those ones also. Now make sure you bring the when click at this event. When click event. Excellent. Look how clever she is. Now we go to the trout. Good. Bring that into the when clicked event. That's it. And don't forget to choose where it says question mark. You see this question mark? Make sure you choose which object you're clicking on there. 
and you've got a trout over there, so you've got to choose the trout, eh? So make sure you pick, choose the appropriate object to move. Is it clear? Look here, look here. It says question mark. You must click on there and then choose which one you is, is moving now. Excellent. Trout. So you can see the trout is moving with the trout. Now we need to do something with the tuna. The tuna needs to do something. So, oh, we forgot to the wind click, my girl. Bring in the wind click event. Okay, make the wind click event. Look, here's a wind click event. This one is the wind click event. Make sure you bring in the wind clicking event. Excellent. And remember, that one's going to be with the tuna. Okay, good. Tuna. And bring in the wind clicking event, this tuna, into that part there. Marvelous. I told you like, one of the cleverest great ones. Now, look over here. Let's play our code. And I think everything's so good. Click on the fish and they all should move in different directions. There, the, that one's moving right. Click on the other fish. Excellent. That one's going up. And everything's working. Now, my girl, I want to show you how to put this in a web page. Go over here. Go to the read button because we're going to save our work and save and exit. Good. Now, let's give it a name. Uh, in this work folder, go over here and type the name of the fish of the of the of your file. So let's call it fishy. Just call it fishy. Do you know how to spell fishy? Yeah. Okay, well that's pretty smart. Fish. Just call it fish. Excellent. F A I S H. And then press on this button that says save. You are very clever. Okay, now if you look over here, if you go to this button over here, the work folder, you can see you got fish. So let's click on it, and then I want you to open it over there, on that open button. Wow, you're so good. And now you can see if you go on this button, you can go share. Yeah. All right, now, now I want you to go over here to this one, this button over here to share. And then go over here, and then, oh, uh, sorry, to this one. Okay, so copy this, and let me show you how to copy it. Drag over it. And then you right click and you copy. Okay, that's it. And go down all the way. There we go. Now, right click in the middle. Okay, let's just go over all this. Okay, now right click. Right click on the blue part. That means on your mouse you're pressing the other button. The one on the right hand side. Okay, don't worry, you're going to get it right. Well, uh, now right click and I'm going to copy it for you. See, press and copy. Good girl. Now you can close this with a smiley face. Now, we're going to make that your mommy could play this game on your purple mash. It could be in your purple mash. So we're going to now put, uh, we're going to minimize purple mash. So go there. And we're going to go to notepad. Now, notepad, if you go on the start button, we're going to go with notepad. Okay. You know what, which one's notepad? Okay, watch, I'm going to open. Watch here. I'm going to let me do it quickly. I'm going to go. We're going to go look for new, and then we're going to go to this one, text document, and I'm going to call this game. Watch carefully, game, and then we're going to just leave it like that for the moment, but I want you to open this. Okay, now over here, I'm going to do some of the typing for you. Are you okay with that? So I'm going to go HTML. That means we're making a file called Hypertext Markup Language. H and forward slash html and we're putting another one over there and then i'm putting header now watch my girl header and then i'm going to go another one like this with a forward slash means the ending of the header and then i'm going to put the body now a body would be b-o-d-y and then i'm going to put forward slash body like that now Z now Zintle, i want you in the, this part over here right click and you're going to choose paste. So, right, choose paste. Yay! You put your purple mesh game in now. Now, watch what we're going to do. Go to file. Good. And I go save as this one. Not that one. This one. Good. Now, I'm going to you write your name there. Write your name there. And then don't press it. Oh, where it says game. Over there. Write Zinclair. Wait. Zinclair was... She's writing Zinclair there. Sinclair. Excellent. Now press a dot. You know where dot is? A full stop. Press a full stop. Full stop. 
Well, stop, please, full stop. The, the little dot. Josh can help you. He's so clever. Josh, help her find the full stop. Zinclair, for to to make it that your game can be read by a browser, a program that reads the internet, you pray you press H T M. If you stuck, Josh can help you. H T M. H T M. H T M. Don't press anything else, just because we don't want to go out of there. So press H. Josh, will you help Zinclair to show where the H is? Josh is one of the top coders. Right now. I want you to press save, the save button. All right, now, where did we save that? I just want to see where we saved that. File, save as. Oh, it's in our desktop. So that's good. So, Zinclair, now if we go to our desktop, we'll see. Look, if I show you where the desktop is on your computer, it's, it should say your game there. So, I'm going to show you where that is. Look there, there it is. Zinclair, look. There, look. Press on that. On that one there. Look there. That one. Now click on it and open it. Press OK. And it's opening up your file. Oh, look, Zinclair's game is inside there. So in other words, your mommy, if you press on the fish, let's see what happens. Click on the fish. Wow, it's working. And Zinclair made her own game with purple mash inside of it. Guys, give her a hand. What a marvelous red one. Ooh, you are super girl. Right. We made a video, so we're going to post this for all you guys to see. Zinclair made a game with a purple mash inside it. Right. Well done, Zinclair. That is marvelous. You're probably one of the best grade ones to do something like that. Kai, Kai, welcome. I'm going to go through the process of making your movie on a website. So we're going to show you how to do that. So open one of your movie files just so we can see it. And you guys who can't see this can uh, observe as when you watch the movie this afternoon. Now you can see Kai is an amazing filmmaker. He's one of the best in our school. And he's only in grade 2. If you saw his uh, movies, you'd be quite amazed. He's probably going to be one of those great movie makers. Josh will uh, help us if we stuck, Kai. He's really good as well. Um, he, he's a coding champion. Um, you are a movie champion. He's a coding guy. All right, so play your movie. Let's have a good look at the movie. Okay. And Josh is playing. Don't touch uh, things. So Josh's movie is playing. All right, now, Josh, we want your movie to be in a web page. So stop your movie. It's brilliant. You, I love your artwork. You want to, I'm one of your greatest fans. So stop the movie just for the moment. Just stop it. And let's go through the way of saving it. And Aluri is coming to stay, suggest that she's watching as well. If you click on this button over here, click on that button. Now watch Josh. Watch Kai. Go down to this button, this one over here, jo uh, Kai. Okay, now when you, you, we, when you want to share it, um, Aluri, watch this carefully. Josh is going to, uh, Kai is going to click on share. So cl click on share, and we are looking for the embed code. So look, click on this tab over here, it says embed. You know about embed, aren't you? You're so smart. Embed code. So Illyria also knows about embed code. She's, uh, she's amazing. Zeke Claire's just used it. And Kai, what are we going to do with this iframe, Illyria? Uh, We're going to copy that. So Kai, right-click on that selection. Copy. Excellent. Now you can close this with a smiley face. And now, Kai, I'm going to ask you to minimize Purple Mesh. And now, we're going to right-click over here. And watch what I'm going to do. Right-click. I'm going to go to New. And I'm going to choose Text Document. You do that. See if you can do it by yourself. Watch what he's doing. Right-click. Go to New. And choose Text Document. All right. Now, the name of your, let's call it My Video, or Kai, Kai's Film, or give it a name, that file. So type, uh, can I type it for you? K-H-I, Kai. Now click on it to open it. So we're opening it, and I'm going to maximize it. Click on that button to maximize it. Okay. Right. Now we're going to make what's called HTML. It's the video files. So Kai, watch carefully. I'm going to type, I'm going to help you through the process. If we stuck, Josh will help us in Illyria. 
type, I'm going to type with this, watch what I'm doing, HTML. And then at the bottom here, I'm going to type H forward slash HTML. So that's telling me the beginning and the ending of my code. And over here, I'm going to go header. I'm typing it for you. And over here, I'm going to put forward slash header. And then I'm going to go body. Now, you must learn this, hey, Joe, um, Kai. And then you go forward slash body. And your code in the middle with your movie that you copied, right click in here. Right click where, where I'm showing you now, in that part there. Now, click paste. Excellent. Now go to format on the top there where it says format. And then where it says format, choose word wrap. Word wrap means that you can see it a bit better. Now watch what we're going to do. Go to file. And we're going to go save as. No, no, file. Go back to file. Save as. Now look where Kai, Kai is going. And type in your name. Okay, it's already got your name there. Now I want you to type in dot. Illyria, why do we type a dot? Because that's going to show us the name of the type of file. Eh? Press dot. Is he gonna, I wonder if his car is going to be able to type a dot. Do you think he can do that? Mr. Bracky. Yeah, he did it. Oh, now ta it. type htm. And that's telling the computer that the, the, the program that must read this file, Josh knows, is a browser. And then type save. Go on the save button now. Right, now, Kai, I want you to go to the desktop. So minimize this. Josh is there with you. He can help you. Don't play with the teacher's computers. You're going to mess my computer up. Look at how it's doing it. Go, go. Move. Gee, they, that's like me. The computer's starting to do something it shouldn't do. Oh, my God. You mustn't do that. All right, so please don't touch the teachers. Go, go to your computer. Right, now, Josh, minimize it like this. Go to the minimize button there, the, that one there. The one that makes it smaller. Good. Now over here you can see, look, it says Kai. Click on that. Watch carefully. Kai's video should be showing. And we're going to open it with this browser. Let's go with Chrome. Uh, Chrome is a browser. It's used to measure or to, to read web pages. Press on the OK button. If you're stuck, Josh is there to assist us. It's opening. Look. And wow, your movie is now found in a web page. How cool is that? Now, you're, you might find that your movie is a bit small. You want to make it a bit bigger. Minimize it again. Just minimize that page. Josh can help you if you're stuck. Brilliant. And now with this, Kai, just watch what I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to help Illyria. I'm going with her next. Right click and go open with Notepad. So there's Notepad. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Right, now Josh, I mean Kai and Josh, this 500, make that 1,000 and make this 600. And then I'll help you to save it. We automatically would save it as HTM because it's going to be saved. That'll be 1,000. I'm sure Lyria knows what a 1,000 is. Excellent. You are really smart. In. And the other one will be 600. So we're just making Kai's video a lot better. We always want to make Kai's videos a lot bigger because we know he's such an amazing video uh, producer. 600 would be correct. And then Josh, as soon as you finish, go to Files. Kai, you can go to File. Go to Save. Go, no, it's just Save. And then when you go to the bottom there, you can minimize this. So minimize this. Minimize it. Well, yeah, that's it. And now open up your web page and it should open up that web page and it should be a lot bigger so let's have a look it's opening up in internet explorer which is a different browser and let's see if it's going to read your file all right it's not reading it but that's not a oh it is yes and you can see look at kai's video it's bigger and it's it's a lot clearer well done, Kai. You've made a web page that can feed a Purple Mash video in your web page. Before we had Zinclair who could do and uh, put one of her games teaching code 
in this as well. So well done, Kaya. See if you can build something like that all by yourself. But well done to you. You've done marvelous. Now we're doing Illyria. So she's got to go to her computer. She's going to do some beautiful artwork. And I'm very fortunate to have the very famous artist, Illyria, who is doing a beautiful art piece. And we've got the famous Anisu, who's got an amazing voice, talking about what's happening. Anisu, how are you today? Good. So that everybody can hear you. All right, so we've got a, Illyria is now going to save her file. So, Anisu, how is she going to save her file? you know? Uh, yeah, she pre press save and exit, then she goes to her class, or she writes her name, and then she press OK. All right, so she's pressed OK, she saved the file. Uh, this one. Excellent. So, she's just showing us with the mouse which one it is. Now, that is excellent. Now, Illyria, the, you see this one over here with the world. There's a, like a little button with the world. And Isu can show us that. One that, that one is when you want to share and make it that everyone can see your game. So click on it. And we know that we're going to be sharing. What are we going to be searching for, Anisu? Uh, Megan, what are we going to search for? Search for... No, no. And look how clever Illyria is. She's pressing on the right place. Yeah. I wonder if Josh is helping her, but she's very smart. <laughs> and we're looking for... What is that read, Anisu? Excellent. And remember, we've got to select everything over here. We've got to copy everything. Luckily, she's got Josh. Excellent, Illyria. Right. Now, when you go over here, let me just show you, if you don't mind. If you select this, on the blue part, right click, and then choose copy. So, over here, Illyria, look at me. Just look over here. Right click and copy. Don't worry, Megan's coming to assist. So, okay, so you've copied it. Good girl. So, you, what did you do? You went right click. Do it again. Show us. And copy. and copy. Marvelous. You, how, what grade are you in? She's in grade 2C. She's in grade 2C. Wow, you got an amazing grade 2s. They're so clever. Right, now watch clear, carefully. We're going to close this. And Josh will just show you how to minimize <coughs> that little line at the top. Excellent. Now over here, you're going to right click. And you're going to go to new. I'm going to just show you, so don't do anything yet. So you're going to go new. And you're going to choose text document. Let's see if you can do that all by yourself. I know you will be able to do it by yourself because you're so good. Anisa, do you think she's going to be able to do it? Yes. I think she's so good. Look, oh, she's doing it. And go to text document. Brilliant. And then type your name now. Type your name for the file. <coughs> Excellently done. You can even go over all of that and just type your name. So what is the HTML um, extension going to be? Yo, so how would we show that the browser must read it? Okay, so we get... Ah, clever Megan. She says we must type in Illyria.htm. So that's going to be good. Illyria, all you have to do is type your name. So don't worry about the htm yet. Okay, that's marvelous. Now click on it to open it. Okay, now click on this, on this part of it over here to open that file. So if you go like this... Oh, it's, it's a text document. So go over here and click on it. So she's going to click on it. And Josh will help her. And open in Notepad. Because that's what we're using to write our HTML. Click OK, Josh. And I'm just going to maximize it so you can make it nice and big for us, Josh. Marvelous. If you could bring it down a little bit so we can all put it in the middle of the screen. Yes. Okay. Now... Illyria, I'm going to help you a little bit if you don't mind. So watch carefully what we're going to do. This is, I'm going to type in the code for you because it's a lot of typing. I'm going to go HTML. That's telling us what, it, what he's going to read it, uh, Illyria. Yeah, the computer, but which, for which programs? Ones that read web pages. Hey. Okay, so I'm going to make the font bigger. Look what I'm showing you over here, Illyria. If I go over there and font, I went over here. To format, and then I chose font. Click on font. Brilliant. And we're going to choose a bigger number for the font. So choose a nice big one. Why do you think we want a big font, Anisu? So, so you can see it clearly. Brilliant. Clarity of vision. We want to see it nice and clearly. That's beautiful, Illyria. Oh, how good is that? Okay, now I'm going to type for you. I'm going to type header. 
And then the end of the header goes like this. Header. And then I'm going to do the body parts. And then Josh is going to help us to paste in the purple mesh game over here. So Josh, over here. Now watch Illyria what I'm going to show you. Right click, paste. So we're going to right click and paste. Right, right click, Illyria. And Josh will help us if we stuck. He's a marvelous coder. Paste. Oh, you're amazing. Now watch over here where it says format, choose word wrap. So why would we want to word wrap, Anisu? Megan can help us if we're stuck. Megan, do you, what do you think is word wrap? Um, okay, choose so word wrap, go to format. Okay, watch carefully. Let's do it. Go format, Josh. Go to the format menu. Look, here at the top, format, and choose word wrap. Excellent. Now, can you see, when it gets to the end, yeah, it goes to the next. Why would we do that? So we can read it a lot better. Megan, you are amazing. All right, now, Josh, now we're going to go into saving it, Illyria. We're going to go file, and Josh will help us because we're going to now save it with a .htm. Save as. It's save as. No, just save. Go through it again. Go file. Go file again. File. File. The one next to it. Gloria file. Luckily we got Meg. Save as. And now over here it's already got Illyria. So dot. to type dot and then dot htm. Htm. Now if you look what Meg's Megan's helped us, Illyria, do you see that htm? That is telling that the browser must read it. So let's go save. Okay. Save. Alright, now we're gonna go. Josh will help us to minimize. And we're going to then see, minimize this. And we're going to go to desktop. So look at the desktop. Oh, look over there. It says Illyria HTM. Look at this. Look at over here. Can you see? Look at that. Showing it's a browser is going to read it. Click on that, Illyria. I think your code's going to work. And it's opening. Oh, I wonder if Illyria. Yes, yes, it works. You have made something in Purple Mesh that is feeding into a web page. How clever is that? She's only in grade two. Guys, give her a hand. Yay! Big thank you to Josh. Big thank you to Anisu and Megan. Well done. All right, so now we're going to add that to our form.